Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have filmed this dark smoky eye look. I also show you how I create flawless full coverage skin and how I highlight and contour. So if you'd like to see how I created this look then please keep watching. Please make sure to subscribe to see future content. Um, I'm posting every week at the moment so if you'd like to see more videos from me then please subscribe and like this video. Okay, so I think I'm going to do skin today just to switch it up a little bit. I normally do the eyes first, but I'm going to do skin. I've already moisturised. I've actually put a little bit of the MAC Strobe Cream on as well just to give my skin a bit of a glow. This is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Peach Radiant Primer. So a peach toned primer is really great if you have any kind of pigmentation or any um, like sunspots, dark circles. If you, if you have quite a dull skin you want to... Uh, brighten your skin a peach primer is really great i have quite dark circles at the moment so i'm going to use this primer just to kind of even out my skin tone this primer is also great at just creating like a smooth base for your makeup and obviously make it last longer they have a few different ones they've got the smoothing one i think they've got different colors like green um lavender and things like that so there are different ones so it's the makeup forever skin eq can't say that word skin eq skin eq skin equalizer i can't i literally can't say that word anyway it looks like that <laughs> so if you want a really really kind of full coverage base you can apply concealer first before your foundation. You don't have to. Um, I do this because I do have, especially at the moment, I've got like a few kind of scars, like hyperpigmentation just from old blemishes. So I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer because then when I go over the top of the foundation, I won't need to use as much. I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm going to focus this around the nose because I get a little bit red around the nose and just on any kind of redness, blemishes, scars, anything like that. And then for foundation, I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier foundation. This is the Flawless Lumiere foundation in the shade Golden. So when it comes to creating like a full coverage skin, I would definitely recommend to build in layers so I wouldn't go straight in with loads of product straight away um, just because that it can end up looking quite cakey so I always go in with like a medium coverage first and then I'll build in certain areas where I want more coverage and I always use a damp um, this is a real technique sponge so once you're happy with your coverage, I'm then going to move on to highlight and contour and concealing under the eyes. I had a lot of questions recently on how I do my highlight and contour, so I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on this. Obviously not everyone has the same face shape, so not all contouring and highlighting will suit everybody, but this is just the way that I do it on myself. So I'm going to take my Laura Mercier concealer, this is the Flawless Fusion in 2W, and I apply it like a triangle under the eye. If you're going to be contouring your nose, you can bring your concealer closer towards your nose, which is almost like a reverse contour, but I will go in and contour my nose shortly. I also take the concealer on my chin, above my lip, on the bridge of my nose, and in between my brows. This just highlights and brightens the face. I feel like if I don't do this, and I've just got a really bright under eye, the rest of my face just looks really kind of unbalanced and just your under eye highlights just stands out way too much. So this kind of evens everything out and balances the skin. So as I'm blending this out, I'm really taking it up onto the cheekbones and up by the eye. And this just lifts the eye and just brightens that whole area. 
So once that's done, you kind of look a little bit crazy. Um, but I'm going to go in and contour now. So you don't have to cream contour. If you don't want to, you can just use powder. But I do tend to always go with a cream first to contour. And then I'll go over the top of the powder just to set it. This is the Huda Beauty Tantor. This is the medium shade. Which I said in my last video, it's quite dark for me. But when you blend it out, it does work. I'm going to use the Zoeva Face Shape Brush. It's just like a duo fibre. It needs a clean, but who cares? Okay, so I'm going to contour my cheekbone. So I always do it like from the top of the ear and down at, at an angle towards the kind of corner of your mouth. The further you bring it in, the more chiselled your face is going to be, but potentially you can make yourself look quite gaunt if you if you really, I've done it before, I've really brought it in and drugged it down and it look, makes you look a bit gaunt. So I like to kind of stop there. I also bring the contour onto the top of the forehead. If you're not familiar with contouring, what you're basically doing is you're creating shadows on your face. So by contouring your cheeks, you're making your cheekbones look higher, your face look slimmer. Your forehead, you're making your forehead look smaller and shorter. And I just slightly contour my jaw. I have quite a long jaw. Um, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but if you want your jaw to appear more defined, if you want to hide that double chin, if you've got one going on like me, then yeah, this is great. And then blending, especially your cheekbone is really important because you want to blend upwards. If you blend your contour down, you're defeating the whole object of contouring because you're what you want to create that kind of natural shadow of your cheekbone. If you're dragging it down, then you're not. So I kind of like push the product up. This is really dark, but I will blend it out. This could be good for me. Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose. But when you I'm gonna further highlight under my eye again. You don't need to do this because it already looks quite bright, but I'm gonna highlight it even more. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just applying a little bit, just in a small triangle under my eye again, just there. Is there a chance for me? So I'm gonna bake as normal with my RCMA powder. I really do think that baking does make a massive difference when it comes to making your skin look really kind of full coverage and flawless. So I use a damp sponge, just pick up some of the product on the end of the sponge and I literally apply it everywhere that I've put that concealer under my eyes. You can also bring it onto the sides of the nose just to kind of pinch the nose. You can leave the powder for as long as you'd like. Personally, I don't leave it for too long just because I feel like my under eye gets a little bit dry looking. The longer you leave, the bright, brighter your under eye will look, but potentially the drier it will look. I'm gonna set with my Maybelline Fit Me powder. So I haven't cream contoured my nose today just because I actually prefer the look of powder on me, but you can uh, cream contour your nose if you want to. So I'm just going to take NARS Paloma, which is like a cool toned bronzer. You don't want anything too warm when you're contouring your nose, but you also don't want anything too cool that it looks muddy. I'm just using this uh, fluffy brush. Obviously all noses are different shapes and sizes, so just because I'm doing it this way might not necessarily mean that it will suit you, your nose. But I like to just go on the tip of my nose, just like that. And then just on the sides, obviously the thinner lines you create, the more narrow your nose will look, the wider, the wider your nose will look. And to be honest with my nose, I just kind of follow the natural shape. I don't like to change it too much. And then I'll bring it up into the brow. This will just make it more seamless and not like you've got two lines on the side of your nose. And then just to make my nose look a little bit more like a button, more cute, I take a line just here. It makes the nose look a little bit more lifted as well. I 
I also love to take the contour onto my lip. It just makes your bottom lip look a little bit more kind of pouty and plump. This is my favourite brush to blend. It's a Morph M438 and it's just like the perfect shape and size to really get under the eye to kind of pat away the under eye bake. But also a really great size to blend out my contour as well. I do the under eye bake and the nose contour at the same time just because I like the fact I get some of the loose powder on my brush and blends the contour away. I just feel like it blends it more seamlessly for some reason. So I'm going to use bronzer skin. This is the MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. I've used this for years. It's literally like my go-to bronzer. For blush I'm going to take Fairly Precious by MAC. I've hit pan as much as I use it. If you want to intensify your contour any further, you can go in more with like a cool toned contour powder, but I kind of like it to leave it there. I don't want it to look too intense, I feel like that's enough. But I do like to take my loose powder under the contour just to highlight and clean it up. So I literally apply it underneath the contour. And I'll just leave that to sit for a while just to brighten. I'm just going to fill my brows in now. Um, I'm just using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Taupe. So I also took some of the Benefit Cabral. This is in the shade 3 just to further kind of darken and fill in my brows. I'm then going to set them with the Eyebrow Queen Brow Fix. And I just take this honest spoolie and just brush it through my brows just to set them. Moving on to eyes now, I'm going to take the P. Louise base. The palettes, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm still yet to find one palette that has all the colours I want. Like, I always use loads of different palettes. So sorry if that's annoying, but just use whatever palette you have and you like. I'm taking Burn Orange by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm just taking this into my crease. And I'm kind of flicking this up into my temples because I want to create that kind of fox eye, lifted eye. I'm literally so annoyed. I thought my camera was recording when I was doing my eyes, but it wasn't. So I was literally just talking about how I blend eyeshadow and what colours I was going in. The eyes aren't finished, but we're going to have to pretend... This darkness isn't here and I'm just going to talk you through what I did. <sighs> okay, so I took Antique Bronze by Anastasia Beverly Hills on a MAC 217 and I literally focused this on the outer corner of the eye and into the crease. But I'm not bringing it up as high as like that transition shade. with every step I do, I take a fluffy brush and just blend everything. And when it comes to blending eyeshadow, um, it's more of like a windscreen wiper motion. And when you want to blend certain areas, more kind of um, smaller areas, it's like small circular motions. And I'm just flicking this up again, up into my temples. I do this to create a more blown out effect. If you want more of a rounded effect, then don't do this. So for my lid colour, I'm going to take this bronze shade from this chocolate bar palette. I'm going to take some more of my base and I'm just going to apply this to my lid just to clean up the area. I'm not creating a cut crease. But it's just, you see, it just brightens the area again. It's a great trick if you've maybe blended too much dark on your lid. You can just take the base and just clean it up again. When 
applying shimmer shades, you can wet your brush. I'm going to take some fix plus on a flat brush. This is a MAC 239. And it'll just intensify your shimmer shades more. And I'm just pressing and packing onto the lid. And I just take my brush and just blend the edges again. To highlight my inner corner, I'm going to take Primavera by Anastasia, which is a gold shade, soft gold. Actually, no, it's more of like a champagne. And then you can also take this under the brow, on the brow bone. And then I'm going to take Antique Bronze and run it under my lash line as well, my lower lash line. And just connect it to the top eyeshadow. And I'm going to blend out with that Burnt Orange. I'm then going to take a small flat definer brush. I'm taking a dark brown, this is Cypress Umber from Anastasia, and I'm focusing this on the top lash line because I'm going to be applying lashes. I'm going to take a little bit under the eye as well. I want this to be even more kind of dark and smoky, so I've taken some of that dark brown and focused it on the outer corner. And I'm just blending in small circular motions because I don't want to bring this up too high or too far out. I want the darkness to kind of be focused on the outer corner. Okay, so I've decided I want a little bit more brightness here. So I'm taking this gold from the chocolate bar palette. I'm just focusing it in the inner corner and I'm actually bringing it up a little bit higher. I have quite a small lid space so doing this will make my lid appear larger. And then taking a black liner for my waterline, this is the MAC Graph Black. taking my concealer brush just with uh, some excess product and I'm cleaning up the edges of my eyeshadow and I'm just following kind of the shape I wanted to create that more kind of lifted effect I don't want it to look kind of harsh I'm just blending out the edges if you do find that you've got a little bit of fallout under your eyes if you've done your base already I find if you just take a little bit of your loose powder, just on your powder brush, just tap off any excess and just kind of flick any fallout, that often tends to kind of pick it up and remove anything. And because you've already set that area, it's really kind of smooth anyway, and it's not sticky because you've already set it, you can just literally flick it away. I'm going to take this Bare Minerals Concealer, it's a powder concealer in the shade Well Rested and it's just a brightening product. You don't need a lot, a little really does go a long way. I always just tap off as much excess as I can and just press this under the eyes. Just for a little bit added coverage and brightness. I'm just going to pop some mascara on and then I'll pop some lashes on as well. I'm going to pop some lashes on now. These are the Peaches and Cream number 29s. Um, these are their foam ink range and they're really nice and fluffy. Okay, so 
so now I'm going to move on to highlight. So I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill highlighter in Bomb. So I just apply it to the top of the cheekbones, above the brow, on the cupid's bow of the lip. And just on the tip of the nose and slightly on the bridge. I actually quite like a chin highlight just a little bit, not too much. I know some people don't but I'm a fan of it. So for lips I'm going to do a nude just because I feel like the eyes are quite dark so I don't want anything too kind of bright or anything on the lips. So I'm taking Strip Down by MAC. This could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I And then I'm going to take Blank Tea by MAC. Compassionate I won't scratch your surface. And then I'm going to take some gloss. These are the Anastasia Beverly Hills glosses. I've got Undressed and Dainty. I'm going to just mix them together. And then I'm going to set my skin using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And I think we are done. So this is the completed look. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned some kind of tips and tricks when it comes to full coverage skin, contouring and smoky eyes. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and thank you for watching. Searching for your praise, but is it even there to find?